Dokies, I'm Dilip here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and today we're looking at another plugin from the one and only Exceldro himself. Let's take a cheeky little look at it. It's incredible. You probably have seen something like this on TikTok or something like that. Yeah, you can get some pretty cool stuff out of it, all right? <laughs> so let's take a look at how to install that and how to use it. Put your rocket for the stone. Let's go. So with all plugins, you can get this on the OBS website, so it's super simple to install. We're just going to jump over to the website. All the links are in the description down below. Here's a little example of what you can do with it. Hopefully my video will be here as well, like Seldro, bang it on there so you can see it easy. Make sure you leave a review, obviously, five star, incredible plugin. And we're just going to hit this download button, as you can see, just up here in the top right. Hit download. You will get an option now of four different installers, whether or not it's Windows, a Windows installer, Mac OS, and and Linux. For this example, I'm going to show the old school method of copying and pasting the files. You can use the Windows installer if you want. So hit download it on Windows dot zip just there that'll jump into your downloads folder as you can see i already had mine just here i've extracted it so right click on it and go to extract all press that and then it'll open this folder just here double click into that and we're just going to copy both of these files just here so right click and go to copy or control c and then we're going to head to your obs uh, installed location so mine's in the local disk c and then inside program files it could be inside program files 86 so i'm going to go program files and then go down to obs-studio or lowercase like so click into that and you should see three folders and potentially some other installers if you've got different plugins on there you're going to see data and obs plugins all we're going to do is press ctrl v or we can right click and press paste and we're going to press if you've already got this installed like i have it's going to ask to replace you can press replace if you like and then it's going to ask if you want to provide administration privileges. Just say continue for absolutely everything. Uh, tick this box and it'll do it automatically for you. And then once that's installed, it's all ready to go. Then you can jump into OBS. You can see here I've got a, uh, another webcam using the virtual webcam. If you want to see how I'm doing this, then go and check out my tutorial just up there. That's another Excel Draw plugin that just that saves so much time with my editing and everything like that. So once you've got that all installed, you will have to make sure you restart OBS. So close it and reopen it after you've installed it and then you're going to be able to right click onto any source just here and go to filters once in filters you'll uh, see depending on what sort of filter you're using if it's just a scene you might just see effect filters or you might see audio and video it depends if there's a microphone on there or, or if it's a cam or something like that and then we're going to press the the plus sign and you should see time warp scan that's the one that we're going to be using here. You can give it a name, call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Time Walk Scan for now. And as you can see, it automatically starts playing. And you can see in my preview just here, how moving around changes exactly what's happening on the screen. That is literally so simple to install, right? So we've got a couple of settings on here. We can change the uh, every time that we turn the eye on, for instance, that's what starts it happening. If we turn it off, even midway through the effect, it'll turn it off. So we can change how long we want it to be. If we want it to be, say, I don't know, we'll say it happens in a second. You look how fast that goes down. So you'll have to do some pretty quick movements, but you can get some really cool kind of shots doing changing the uh, the duration as well. You can also change the, the line width. So I'm just gonna bang this back up to five seconds. Change the line width, as you can see just here, uh, to whatever you like. So say if I change it to 30, you can see the blue line is now super thick. Bit easier to see. You've also got the line color that you can change. So press select color. And you can see just here, we change it to whatever color we want. Turn it off, turn it back on again. And now we've got a purple line. <laughs> it's so stupid, this plugin. Uh, and we've also got rotation as well, which is quite cool. I'm at the moment experimenting with using move value and the rotation. I'm just going to leave you with that one. Like, you guys do whatever the hell you want with it. There's so many cool things that you can do. So if I change this to, say, uh, 90 degrees, rather than going from top to bottom, it's now going to go from the side to the other side. So we can get some different effects, like... See, if I slowed that down, we'd probably get something even different as well. So if I change that to 10, turn it off, turn it back on. So we'll say just here, and I'll chase my head. Whoop. Here it comes. 
<laughs> so there's some pretty cool things that you can do with it. There's there's hours of fun. All you gotta do is just fiddle about with it. So that is exactly everything on the time warp scan. You will have seen stuff like this on TikTok or something like that. So just get creative with it and show me what you get made. Send it over to the Discord. If you want to help support the channel, then consider being a channel member today and also or and or using Patreon as well. It does help me out massively and it makes me uh, have more time to create all these incredible videos for you guys. Okay, put your rock with the stone. I'll see you in the next one. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.